ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮೇ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಸ್ ಮೇ ಹಿ ನರಿಷಸ್ ಮೇ ವಿ ಅಕ್ವೈರ್ ದ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಬಿ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಟೀಚರ್ ಓಂ ಪೀಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ dear brothers and sisters loving sai ram to all of you we welcome all of you to the online satsang of the sri satch sai baba center of arcadia now we are resuming our study circle on the sutra vahini which is the commentary on the brahma sutras brahma sutra bhashya by god himself our guru and god bhagwan shri satya sai baba next section atmic awareness is the key to liberation the individual gv believing that it is divided from the whole the universal is subject to desire and despair love and hate grief and joy the person is attracted by the world of name and form such a person is characterized as bound or baddha hence the need for liberation is urgent and to be liberated the person must give up dependence on an attachment to the creation prakriti the blind cannot be saved by the blind the destitute cannot be helped out by the destitute how can a person who is destitute and helpless remove the poverty suffering and pain of another the poor must approach the affluent the wealthy the blind must seek the guidance of a person who can see one who is bound and blinded by the dualities of creation has to take refuge in the inexhaustible treasure of compassion power and wisdom namely the divine atma then one can get rid of the destitution of grief revel in the wealth of spiritual bliss ananda and attain the goal of human existence this consummation is reached and atmic awareness is won through the grace of brahman where is the atma to be sought where does the atma reside how can one know the atma adoring the apparently consciousness less things as manifestation of the sovereign consciousness or atma helps the process the atma principle can be genuinely understood only by seekers who are grounded in the formless attributeless brahman but even the embodiment with form saguna has the atmic reality in full measure there are many examples to illustrate this truth knowledge of brahman brahma vidya is another name for understanding and experiencing the atma as the brahman the individual as the universal so in this section swami is emphasizing that atmic awareness is the only way we can come close to brahman and gain liberation so there is another short story of swami that dr d mentioned at one time somebody had asked swami please give me mukti liberation swami said when were you bound when were you ever bound 
And the reason is that we believe we are bound because we are attracted to prakriti, creation. This is all the things that are attributed to the body, friends, relatives, possessions, houses, things, etc. And these keep binding us over and over again, and that is how we become Baddha. So the whole journey is going from the creation to the creator. And here Swami is again beautifully reminding us, the only way you can come close to the creator is by recognizing the Atmic awareness that the creator is in everybody. He's not in some temple or some church or synagogue or somewhere. All Prakriti is a manifestation of him. And this is something, this ananda that we are trying to get out of things here of worldly existence. This ananda can be obtained only by Atmic awareness. And in that famous letter, we remember in May 1947, one of the things Swami said was, he came to give ananda to everybody, which means to remind them that they themselves are the ananda, they are ananda sarupa, which means they are embodiments of ananda. And in the last section, Swami is reminding us that the individual, every part of Prakriti, every being is that Brahman, is that Atmic. And the Brahma Vidya is to understand that that is Brahman, the individual is Brahman, all creation is Brahman. And the only way we can go to the formless is through form. So to travel from form to formless is the entire journey that we are on. So, So the whole thing is, that's where people may get confused. What is this Atma Vidya? What is this Brahma Vidya? What is this Adhyatma Vidya? What is this Para Vidya? What is the knowledge of God? It's all the same. So whenever you are talking about Brahma Vidya, that is the knowledge of Brahman. Brahman and Atman are the same. Knowledge of God is the same. So, and that is why in this, uh, Mundaka Upanishad, the Guru tells the disciple there are two vidyas in the world, para vidya, apara vidya. So the, all the other vidyas are called apara vidyas, secular sciences, physical science, astronomy, astrology, chemistry, botany, uh, medical sciences, engineering, all these are called apara vidyas. Para vidya is one which is above the sciences. That's why Swami says, science, is split of love and spirituality is science of love. So this is one you need to go. Th First, it is needed like these are two wings. We need the uh, this aparabhidya to make a livelihood to live in the world. But main thing, what will take us out of the bondage is this uh, parabhidya, which is Brahma vidya, which is Atma vidya. That is why Lord Krishna in Gita says, Vidyanam. Adhyatma Vidya. He says, identifies yeah, among the mountains, I am Himalayas. I am among Pandavas, I am Arjuna. I am among the lakes, I am the ocean. So, like uh, each one, he says, I am among the warriors, I am Subramanyam. Like that, each one he identifies, and here he says, of all the knowledges, I am the Adhyatma Vidya. There is knowledge of Brahman, knowledge of the Atma. And how to get this knowledge of Atma? There is the whole, the, all of our spiritual seekers, what all we try to do is re realize the nature. Goal of life is self-realization. The big self, that means Atma Sakshat Karam, realizing that we are the Atma. There is all the things, whether we do bhajan, whether we do yogic practices, whether we do the, you know, the educational activities, study circles, service activities, the purpose is only one to realize that we are Atman and make others realize. But as Kato says, this is, sometimes we go on listening to this guy, that guy, this guy, by reading Vedas, by listening, you cannot do that. Only by tapas, by austerities. And clearly it has shown that uh, this, we saw, talked about in Taitriya Upanishad, in uh, the Bhrugu Valley, how the Bhrugu events, says, oh, now I know this is Brahman. He talks about the body. Then his uh, guru, his father says, no, 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 not that. Go inside. No, no, this is it. Then he comes to mind. No, no, not that. Then he goes to the vijnana, intellect. No, 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 not that. So prana, vital air. No, no, not that. Finally, ananda, even not that. You go finally beyond all this. 
that is atma that means you need intense austerity tapas to really realize that is why here swami was very clear this is like a formula let us all remember who will understand brahman or who will understand atman who are grounded in the formless attributeless brahman i no doubt we worship the god with flower ritual this till you reach that stage you won't understand atma very clear made it so you want to know the brahman or atman you know to know the nirguna brahman there also lord krishna said in gita please refer to chapter 12 uh, arjuna asks lord who is better the one who worships you with, uh, with, with no form nirguna nirakara or the one who worships you with form like we all worship rama krishna sai jesus buddha who is better he says both are good done with the shraddha but the ultimate highest truth is advaita this being the attribute as nameless a formless but everybody is not ready how do you get that three qualifications we can all wonder about that first is sanniyam indriya gramo mastery of all senses still our senses run after the sense objects that means we are not at ready sanya mindriya grama sarvatra samabuddhaya always equal minded it means we all can reflect when there is a profit we get elated profit loss praise or blame somebody praises happy somebody blames we feel sad honor or dishonor heat or cold so sanya mindriya grama sarvatra samabuddhaya te prapnuvanti maam eva sarvabhuta hiterata he likes to think about the well-being of all beings not just human beings whether it's animals lizards or crocodiles so we don't want them right crocodiles lizards snakes so he doesn't be any kind of plants everything sarva bhuta bhuta means everything including elements is that you if you have those three qualifications then you are ready for living the uh brahma vidya so that is very important to develop this uh, qualifications to uh, have the energy of the atma really we all get the whole thing is lord krishna is so kind as i said summarize the upanishads go to chapter 2 that is called sankhya yoga just talks about the atma because this arjuna was so sad he is such a wonderful soul he wanted to fight but last minute like we all get in life when you face challenges discourages you drop the whole thing you drops the bow i'm no enough for it i'm not going to fight so so that time lord krishna came and tells you hey, you are doing the wrong thing that is where he talks about the the atma anatma actually he starts shloka 11 where hey, you are worrying about people living or dead people only dumb people follow so don't worry about that there he says you need to know what is atma and anatma and he says beautiful atma because you are identifying you are going to die and your relatives will die your teacher will die your uncles will die your cousins will nobody is going to die you know they were there they are here they will be ever there so because beautiful for few points is atma is never born atma never dies atma nobody can cut it that means you are thinking you are going to be atma cannot be killed atma cannot kill others atma nobody can put fire on that it can you can't burn it atma nobody can wet it and atma no the wind cannot blow it so it is permanent is eternal unchanging reality so you are mistaking it for your body and mind that's why swami you made it even simpler that you are think three things what you think you are that is you think you are the body what others think you are that is the mind but what you really are that is the atma that is what we should uh, focus and he for that he gives a beautiful example we all can relate to that what happens to us now we see all of you some people are young then get middle age then old and then uh, you disappear from this uh, planet earth so this is a part of that so if you somebody take up your young day picture at uh, uh, 90% of them you cannot say a 3 year old baby picture of kartika anupam and show now 
who is the, the baby before you can't identify in the same body when you are baby when you are a young child youth middle age old age changes it may look like a completely different in the same body it is uh, happening so he says as the beautiful shloka they say as in the body kaumaram yavanam jarat same thing the body is change so this is the part of life this is called shadvikara six changes everybody every human being whether you are a president or a king or a pauper or a, a noble scholar or a vedic scholar it doesn't matter it doesn't spare because you are special everybody has to go jayate we are all born the day the birthday celebration but as we progress you should worry about birthday celebration at least we are walking closer towards the end grave so so somebody said after 50 i stop celebrating birthday so first is jayate then we born then asti then you exist for a few words the child is good crawling then vardhate then grow next stage actually that is a teenage where i can see my grandson we didn't see him for a while within a year i'm not one foot he grew 12 inches in 12 months i couldn't believe that means body can accelerate growth during that vardhate that means particularly you can see uh, during teenagers of people so after a while that there starts problem then you get younger adult then we parinimate slowly changes come we come to 40 you need some glasses to wear because you can't read the small print you need that you need special glasses to wear after that slowly gray hair appears mainly at the side bun so that you can see if it is in the behind you won't see it you are the side so that you see it then people color the hair who want, some people who want to color the hair they don't want to show the white hair they color the hair but they know that they have the uh, white hair then some people cannot hear ah uh, ah uh, they said so you have to use the hearing aid then what happens then your mouth gets problem and you develop you have canals build canals and crowns you put crowns build bridges <laughs> finally so there will have you will have whole mouth full of canals so, around bridges and finally uh, with thing goes and put danger seven then the ites you cannot say then cat racks come you remove the cat so swami says this are all like in a renting a place they give eviction notice you first second third finally they say get out of the house similarly god is giving you to wake up hey, all this parinamas are happening so apachyate now the you know, things won't even work some people cannot see well cannot hear cannot walk that is a stage up after the changes apachyate go down finally vinashyate disappear so this happens to that so the wise man when you are there yeah this is the nature of the body you cannot do anything about it there is nothing anybody can there is no till now nobody you can postpone little bit this is you can postpone two things only not avoid taxes and death we can just postpone it can delay it uh, so similarly this cannot be changed we have to face the reality that is why swami says don't forget two things don't forget god don't forget death because when you think about it you get this passion yeah we will won't be there so at least you will be focusing more on uh, atma that is why beautifully he says krishna about what is atma and anatma from the shloka 11 to the shloka 30th he talks about in the sankhya yoga chapter 2 then he says oh but i know i am doing all these things how do i know i have this atmic knowledge is very simple you can verify yourself whether you are having the atmic knowledge there he ca- talks about the qualities of a man of who is established in atmic knowledge in shloka in the same chapter shloka 54 to 72 tata prajna he is just everything nothing bothers him is always in bliss and at this at the end of the 72 says esha bam hi sthiti parta nai tatra upa once you are established in that at the end of the is one with brahma it's no that person is assured to be with brahma but before that he is nothing bothers him like the tortoise withdraws the the things into its own shell similarly he withdraws his things from the uh, sense objects so he is not attached to his house his family friends he loves all of them but with the detachment that is the whole secret love with the detachment work with the detachment 
then you are in tune with Atma. So this is very important Atmic knowledge all over Upanishad said and Brahma Sutras, but Lord Krishna for all of us sake, which made it very easy. So I would request everybody to go back and refer to chapter two, Sankhya Yoga. And Swami talked about in Gita Vahini, he gave, and also he gave discourses on this, also in different occasions. So please refer to the discourses as well as Gita Vahini. Okay, Sairam, we will uh, continue.